join me for my fall off the bone tender stovetop braised short ribs slowly simmered in a richly flavored sauce until meltingly soft. It's important that you choose the right ribs when making beef chuck short ribs. These come in a package of four. I'll probably be using two to three packages. You wanna pull them out of the fridge a few minutes prior so they come to room temperature. After rinsing them, you wanna pat them dry. You can use a knife to cut some of the excess fat. Then you wanna season both sides generously with salt and pepper. Before you head to the stove, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you chop up half an onion, one cup of celery, one cup of carrots, and four garlic cloves. First, we wanna sear our ribs. It's important so we lock in the moisture and create a browned and flavorful crust. On medium high heat, add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or your oil of choice. Once hot, you wanna add your ribs. We wanna cook them for approximately three minutes on each side, then about one to two minutes on the edges. This is the crust we're looking for. Now make sure that you don't overcrowd your ribs. If you have to cook them in batches, go ahead and do so. Again, make sure you sear the sides as well. Once done, place your ribs on a plate temporarily. If you notice, I did use a large pan versus my Dutch oven. This is because I had quite a few ribs to sear. Now you can go straight to your Dutch oven if you only have a few. Since ribs naturally don't have that much beef, I went with the three packages. Once our ribs are seared to a large Dutch oven or a large pot, you wanna add two tablespoons of olive oil, add your onions, then saute them for about one minute. After a minute, you wanna add your carrots and your celery and continue sauteing for about two to three minutes until translucent and fragrant. I currently have my heat set at medium or number five. After a couple minutes, we can go ahead and add our minced garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat down to low just so that I don't burn my garlic. I'm gonna season with salt and pepper and this is to your taste. Now add two to three tablespoons of tomato paste to coat the veggies. I went ahead and went with three because I've got quite a few ribs. I'm adding three cups of Estancia Merlot red wine. Nothing expensive. Any Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon is good. Compounds in red wine add deep rich flavors to the bracing liquid. As the short ribs simmer, these flavors are absorbed into the meat, which is why the ribs are dark in the end. You also wanna add three cups of beef broth. Now, if you don't wanna add the wine, you can just replace it with all beef broth. I'm reducing my heat back to a number five, adjust it as needed. We're gonna be adding two sprigs of fresh thyme and one sprig of rosemary, along with four tablespoons or one fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce. Give it a mix, bring to a boil, then reduce heat and simmer for 10 minutes to cook off the alcohol flavor. This removes much of the inebriating effects, which is important, especially if you're serving to children. Also, if the alcohol isn't reduced, you can taste the bitterness or harshness from the raw alcohol in the finished dish. After the full 10 minutes, we can start adding our ribs back into the pot. And I'm gonna see if I can fit all 12 of them in here. Yes, all 12 are in. Once it comes to a simmer, you wanna cover it up, turn your heat down to low. We're gonna slow cook these for three and a half hours. If you're making mashed potatoes, you can start boiling your potatoes 45 minutes before your ribs are done. It's been three and a half hours. Let's take a look. Ooh, these are looking good. I'm gonna move my ribs to a plate, then we're gonna make a sauce for them. And oh my goodness, look at these, they are literally falling right off the bone guys. Wow. Once our ribs have been removed, we're gonna strain the braising liquid through a fine mesh strainer into a saucepan to make a rich gravy. I'm just gonna push that in a little bit, getting all those flavors in there. To this small bowl, I added two tablespoons of cornstarch and a little bit of water to make a slurry. I'm just gonna mix this all up and then we're gonna add it into our pot. This is going to slightly thicken our gravy. We don't want it too thick, I just want it just slightly thickened. Give it a good mix and simmer for a couple minutes until slightly thickened. This looks good, it's time to go plate. I like to serve mine over mashed potatoes. If you need a recipe, I'll post the link up top. Now let's grab our ribs and look at that fall off the bone guys these are so tender let's add one more look at that mm. now we gotta go in with this delicious gravy now look at that oh my gosh i can't wait to have some 
You can garnish it with a little bit of parsley. And here you have it. Layers of savory beefiness and wine braised flavors will have your mouth watering from the very first bite. I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, you can support me by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.